Everyone and welcome. Climate alarmism is in around every corner. It's in every paper. It's in every media. It's in every TV show. It's in everything, including children and toddlers programs. The core is one, and I can behold the time. So it's heartwarming to see a politician, this time a Australian senator, Malcolm Roberts, slam the hypocrisy and idiocy of it all, and the lack and the lack of empirical data to back up the claim of alarmism. Now this is him schooling the Australian Senate in the fraud behind the UN into governmental reports, which they treat as, and I quote, the science. Trust the science, everyone. Let's have a listen to what he says. Look at the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change Reports. The first in 1990 was built built on a fraud, but even that showed that the medieval warming period was warmer than today's temperatures. Warmer than today's temperatures. That was quickly whipped out of the United Nations next report in 1995, which was, which the scientists gathered in under the UN banner said there was no evidence of warming due to human production of carbon dioxide. Yet Ben Santa, one of the scientists, went in and changed that report and presented it in 1995, based on a fraud. In 2001, 2007, 2013, 2020, there was reports by the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Let's look at chapter 12. In each of those reports, there was only one sole chapter claiming warming and attributing it to carbon dioxide from human activity. In chapter, in 2001, it was chapter 12. 2007, it was chapter nine. 2013, chapter 10. Not one of those reports Sole chapters claiming warming and attributing it to human carbon dioxide contains any evidence for that, that uh, claim. Not wish, one. Wilson, Same in 2020. Have a point of... Now let's have a look, let's have a look at uh, the basis of this United Nations reports. Maurice Strong was a crook. He died in 2015 after returning from exile, self-imposed exile in China. Maurice Strong started the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change as a political tool to get his way for his objectives globally. Maurice Strong started the Chicago Climate Exchange. He was a director of the Chicago Climate Exchange. He sought to make billions of dollars of profits from the Chicago Climate Exchange. He was then pursued for the oil for food scandal in the United Nations, complicit. Another scandal in the United Nations. He was also wanted by the American law enforcement agencies for crimes and serious crimes in the United States, including one very big crime in the, in the Western United States. He fled in exile. He's a crook. He's a crook. And that's what the Greens are basing their policies on. That's what the Labour Party is basing its policies on. And that's what the Liberal Nationals, with a few exceptions, I note Senator Rennick, with a few exceptions, are basing their policies on. The basis of these policies destroying everyday Australians' lives, economically, socially, mentally, morally, is based upon a crook. And you've fallen for it. And what's more, you're now getting the people of Australia to pay for it. That is inhuman, it's irresponsible, it's dishonest. I note that China produces 4.5 billion tonnes of coal and gets more of our coal while we're not allowed to use our 500 million tonnes that we produce in this country. They produce nine times as much and yet they have got no agreement with the 2050 net zero. This is a fraud. And this is, this is why we will not support this suspension. Nailed it, didn't he? Now, don't think that this is just a politician that's just spouting words and he's got, he's got no facts to back it up because he's actually said this about the person who's trying to be the most alarmist in the Senate. Now, they're claiming an escalating climate emergency, a climate breakdown. Here we go again. No data to back it up. We know that the Greens have never provided any empirical scientific evidence or logical scientific points to back up their assertion of an escalating climate emergency. Senator Waters, I challenged Senator Waters in a, to a debate in public in 2010. 2010, 14 year, 13 years ago, and she still will not debate me. She jumped to her feet and said, I will not debate you. I challenged her again, almost daily and weekly, since the 9th of September. Now we hear calls of, leave me alone, I haven't got the data. 
No. There you go. Out and out challenge numerous times since 2010, which basically means the people that are pushing this the most, i.e. the Greens, don't have the evidence to back it up because if they did, they'd debate him and crush him, wouldn't they? He obviously does have the data to back up his words. So I'll leave this one with you. <laughs> Stay sane. I'll see you on the next one.